All right, you beautiful people of the internet, me, Glyn, Cheapskate Gamer News, Tech Reviews. And uh, I thought we'd just do a quick little analysis of the new uh, Gran Turismo demo. Just got a few screenshots flying in the background now, but we're going to further ado, let's jump into the into the demo itself. And uh, first thing I noticed was the amount of detail here on this monitor that they're showing. Wow, just look at that. And that's just like zoomed in loads there, and you can still see all the detail, all the crowd and all the cars in the background. And another thing that really impressed me, we're just going to speed this up and then slow it down for this next bit. Here we go. Whee! Right. So we slowed it down a little bit, you know. And uh, just check out the detail on every single one of these flags. Hold on while I kick the cat, because the cat's scratching. Stop scratching! Right. Uh, yeah, back to the thing. Back to the flags. Yeah, so every single flag here is different. It's all blowing differently in the wind. Each one's got its own animation. I just thought that was really impressive. That... Uh, you know, they've got the 3D models of each and every single flag and they're all acting differently uh, to the the weather, the wind, I suppose. Anyway, that's enough slow-mo now. Let's uh, get back up to normal speed. Come on, James. Home, James. A little bit faster, please. Don't spare the horses. All right, here we go. Here we go. Nice and fast now. And uh, next thing I thought, let's have a little look at the steering wheel. Just look at the detail. You can see it's all, everything's accurate there. It's all like displaying all the proper bits of information. Beautiful. Really nice. Yeah, I did like that. So, um, right. So, essentially, we go on for another lap or so here. And uh, the next thing I was wanted to point out was the detail on the uh, driver's gloves. You know, just just a small little detail. I'm not going to go into the cars or anything, but just check out the stitching and everything on the gloves on this car here. On this car, I mean this like, guy's hand. Just look at the detail in there. You can see like every stitch on his glove. Quite phenomenal, really. So yeah, Gran Turismo 7 is definitely shaping up to be a bit of a graphical power house. And of course, with Gran Turismo, it's not just what you see, it's what's under the hood that really does matter in this game. And uh, we know that they've got it right for Gran Turismo Sport. It is definitely one of the better simulator driving games. So we can only just hope that they carry on that now through with Gran Turismo 7 and just improve on it. So, uh, yeah, very impressed. I'm more impressed with this particular demo than the last one. So we're going to finish off doing one full lap here. And essentially it's going to now go to, they show you one lap as a, as a replay. And the first thing I did notice was in the replay, we now go to 30 frames a second. So hopefully they'll sort that out. And I just took a quick screenshot here now. Just have a look at the little the crowd density. And they're all 3D uh, objects. It was quite hard to take the screenshot. I had to do it during a cut because... Essentially, it uses a lot of motion blur. You can see this here, that um, because we're using 30 frames a second, there's a hell of a lot of motion blur and all any um, objects that are moving quickly across the background. So, um, yeah, beautiful lighting, beautiful graphics, highly detailed. Really looking forward to the next Gran Turismo game. But as you can tell from the last deep dive I did off um, one of these demos, uh, there's no ray tracing while you're driving. Now, I'm not sure. I couldn't really find a, um, a spot on this particular one if, if there was any ray tracing in the actual replay here. Because why else would it drop down to 30 frames a second? But I couldn't really um, sort of put my finger on it or not. And I did have a quite a good deep dive through it. Just having a little look at the background and the skybox on this little uh, clip that I cut there. And uh, you can see how all the clouds in the background. Now, I'm not sure if the clouds are all moving. I hope they are. Hopefully, we have a ever-changing skybox. Because I do know it's got dynamic weather. So, um, there's not really much more for me to talk about. I've kind of... I'm not going to go into the car details or anything like that. But I think, uh, overall, it's shaping up to be a really nice... Uh, Gran Turismo 7 is going to be a really nice graphically looking game let's just hope they get all the tracks that everyone wants and uh, a good selection of cars that everyone needs did notice the um, reflection on the windscreen there is a little bit janky but we let them off for that uh, so yeah I'm going to shut up now and uh, let the rest of the video play out there's not much longer left and uh, I hope you're looking forward to Gran Turismo 7 as well so this has been Glyn Cheapskate Gaming News Tech Reviews and I'll see you on the next little video. Bye bye now.
Oh.